had a partner that approached me. We worked at the same laboratory at MIT. And he said, Bill, I, I see this wonderful boat for sale, but they won't sell it to me because I'm not promising to race it. I just want a nice boat for day sailing and cruising. Would you go in with me and you, you race it on Saturdays and I'll cruise it on, on Sundays. So I said, yeah, that's good because we're a little tired of the trailer routine. Uh, we thought, let's do some local racing. Sort of a strange reason to get into the class, but the class at that time was mostly older guys starting to retire, starting to sell their boats. I was the first younger generation to come into the class, and then others saw me in it, and they started to join. Don't try luffing on the starting line and planning to pull the trigger with 10 seconds to go. These are momentum boats, and it takes a long time to get them going, so you got to work out your time and distance pretty well to have some speed on at the start. But if you had a shifting breeze, if the ship's steep enough, you're working the shifts, you're tacking on the shifts. But if it's an iffy kind of shift, you just keep your speed up and keep going. If the breeze is up, go straight for the leeward mark on whichever jive that is appropriate. Uh, but as it gets lighter, you do have to start tacking down wind to get the best velocity made good to leeward. Some had the pole close to the clue of the spinnaker and some were kiting the spinnaker. And that that uh, depends on how light the air is, and uh, when the air is light, there's stronger wind aloft, so uh, you want to ease the guy in sheet, get the bottom of the spinnaker farther downwind than the head so that it wants to lift up, and you kite it up and get it up into the stronger breeze. That's faster, because you're getting it up into stronger wind, but you don't want to let it kite so much that it's like a flag just blowing horizontally to the wind. Obviously, obviously not catching any wind then. In addition to the fun of the competition and the fun of winning world championships, one of the things I love about the boat is that you can take along uh, one person who's not an experienced racer. You can take along a grandchild or something and it's not compromising how you do. I think that once people get in the class, that's what keeps them in the class. It's a wonderful boat to stay with for a long time.